Greetings and salutations. Let me welcome you to Creative Photo Painting in Photoshop. My name is Kirk Nelson. I'm your friendly neighborhood graphics geek, and I'll be your guide on this voyage into pseudo painting in Photoshop, our favorite pixel pusher. I'm a regular instructor here at Tuts Plus, and I'm a professional graphics artist with over 15 years of experience. My work has appeared in international trade publications almost 300 times. I'm an Adobe certified expert, and it's my pleasure and my privilege to present this course to you. Let's start by talking about what photo painting is and what it isn't. What it isn't is a way of actually painting from a fresh start on a canvas. What it is is a way of manipulating the pixels of a photo to appear to be a painted image. It's a style of artwork that we take a photograph and we transform it into what looks like may have been a painted work. Uh, many people see this whole process as a cheat or a shortcut. My view is it's just another tool that can be used for any variety of means, and learning how to use it and master it helps you become a more well-rounded digital artist with more tools in your arsenal. This is a beginner to intermediate level course. I'm assuming that you have some familiarity with Photoshop's interface and its basic feature set. So I'm going to assume you know how to do things like add new layers, uh, selections, masks, and you're somewhat familiar with the brush tools. I should also point out that I'm using Photoshop CS6 for this course because there's a few features that are unique to that version. Also, I'm using a pressure sensitive graphics tablet. Mine's a Wacom tablet and it's got over 2048 levels of pressure sensitivity as opposed to a mouse which has two up and down. And so once you've learned how to draw or paint with a graphics tablet, you'll realize just what a poor tool a mouse is for that type of effort. This course is broken down into four projects. The first project is a quick portrait, as I call it, using the oil paint filter. It's about as quick and easy as it gets for photo painting in Photoshop. The second project is a landscape piece, and it still uses the oil paint filter, but there's some additional complexity added to it. From there, we move on to the smudge painting technique. And this project is a pet portrait. Now, smudge painting is the original approach to photo painting and it still holds up as a legitimate process. We'll go through the ins and outs of that, and I think you're gonna like that one. Then we'll finish up with an actual portrait using the mixer brush tools. This is very similar to the smudge painting technique, but there's a lot more complexity to it, as it's a much more sophisticated tool, and there's more depth to this technique. Now each lesson has the source files already provided for you. You'll see in the course files that anything that you're going to need or see in this course is already there. I'm also including the stock images I've created for your own use and reference. Now something to note that the source PSD file for each lesson represents the end state of that lesson. Usually that means that you build on the previous lesson. I want you to keep in mind that the whole point of each of my courses is to help you learn and grow as a digital artist. I'm not concerned with the final product of the projects as much as I'm concerned with the fact that you've picked up a new skill and hopefully a little bit of inspiration too. So with that, let's get started.